Good to know that GIMP's free, you know. Yeah. I see all these amazing things that you can do on your computer, and I think, oh, you know, there's another program, another software I have to buy. Oh, yeah. And then know. when they bring out new versions of things like Photoshop. Yes. Oh. When CS3 came out, does anyone feel me there? Like, the new version comes out, and it's like, I just got CS2, and I, that's mm -hmm. when I switched to GIMP. Sorry. Uh, so here's Carrie's image. I just hit F5, and it refreshed. It was just not showing up on my desktop. Oh, okay. So all I've done in Linux is I've copied it. In Windows, on the other hand, you're going to browse, so it's a little bit different. Um, so let's go back to our Joomla uh, administrative panel. Okay? Go Site, and then Media Manager. This is how we upload images to our website now, Carrie. Okay. So we're not having to use FTP, SSH, or any of those kinds of things. Everything's built right into the Joomla admin panel. Okay. So in this case... Media Manager. Yeah, Media Manager under Site. All right. So first things first, I really like to be organized. So I like to create folders for certain things. So in this case, um, I've probably already created... No, I haven't yet. So we would just call this uh, photographs or something, photos. Okay. So I'm going to create a folder first because any photos now that you create for your website, I would put in here. So not thumbnails, not images, but actual photographs of yourself or of whatever. This is where I would put them. Right, okay. So once you've done that, now we've created the, uh, the folder. We want to actually browse and upload an image. So we find that just at the bottom of this page, if you scroll down. Okay. So we're in the Photos folder, and mm -hmm. it's much like, you know, browsing a hard drive, but this is on the web. Yeah, I see what you mean now, that it's, it's kind of like other applications that I've used. Right. Yeah. So then you see down at the bottom here, upload a file. See? Yep. Browse. And we're just going to grab that file from the desktop. Oh, right. Yeah. And you see there's carry.jpg, which we already resized and compressed and saved. And then hit open. Start the upload. Mm -hmm. And that's going to send that over to the server. And now we're going to notice when that's done that that file is actually now oh, okay. located in this folder. If I single click on that, it's going to bring it up. Okay? Yeah. Now, I'm in Firefox, so it's really, really easy. Um, you might want to get yourself a copy of Firefox, Carrie, because you can just right-click and go Copy Image Location. Okay. It's easier than hitting Properties and then having to copy where it's located. So in Firefox, I've right-clicked on that picture and go Copy Image Location. And the reason that I've done that is now I've got in my clipboard, and you were learning about a clipboard this week. Yeah, that's right. When you right. copy things. Uh, in your clipboard, you've got the actual location of that image so that we can paste it into our blog entry. Okay. Making sense so far? Yeah. You'll watch it back? I'll have to and watch it yeah, again. Okay. Here comes so let's, the meat. Let's go into Article Manager. So we've gone through. Let's bring up uh, just any article. Let's bring up Carrie's on the Men just because it's an old unpublished article now. Okay. Just to, uh, or should we just use your, your current blog entry? Sure. That would probably be better, right? Eh? Because then it's going to appear on the site. Okay. Okay, so. Carrie checking out Robbie's favorites. This is it here? Yeah. Okay. We're almost out of time. Oh I really want to get know, through. So what we want to do is now just find where you want to put this. Where would we put this? Say on the right-hand side over here? Sure. Okay, so in that case, just go to the beginning of this paragraph and hit this image button here. Okay? And now where it's image URL, now you're going to understand why I copied that to the clipboard. I'm going to hit Control-V to paste that. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. You were copying where the image was I copied found. where the carry.jpg is on the web. Right. So now that's oh, okay. there. Give it a description. Carry web. Give it a title. Carry web. Okay. Mm -hmm. Appearance. This is the key. Border. One, I like, because it just kind of adds a nice little border. Mm -hmm. Horizontal space. Make it like five, which is in pixels. That makes it so that the text doesn't quite touch your image. So it's not going to, it's going to wrap around it nicely. Right. And because we wanted this on the right-hand side, we're going to hit right. Oh, and okay. that's going to put your picture over on the right-hand side. So now insert that image, and you'll see that that image has dropped over on the right-hand side of this. So now if I save that, let's go back over to your website, mm -hmm. go to Carrie's blog, and you'll see that that little image that we created is now a part oh. of that blog entry. All right. Cool. That, was, that wasn't too bad. No. And looking that's back, terrible. I mean, I know it seems like a lot to take in, but mm -hmm. once you learn the process, it's like boom, boom, boom. I know exactly what I need to do. I just resize the image. I upload the image. I copy yeah. the image reference, paste it into my document. So, and All that right. can be any image that you want to use. So. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's try that out. Norman, maybe you want to try that out too. Yeah, give it a go, Norman. blogging. Learn along yeah. with Carrie. Yeah. Or if any of the viewers, if you are experimenting with Joomla and have found this uh, changing images to uh,
to work successfully for you, maybe drop us a viewer testimonial at category5.tv, click interact, and submit a testimonial there. We'd love to hear how it went for you.